Here, buddy. We can call this phase three of the Chief Max Microatex power supply. I've just got it back together, except for putting the cover on. I installed that coil, recapped the secondary, replaced the capacitor there. Now, I didn't put this X cap in right away right now because I'm in a hurry trying to get this thing done. But I can say it does look better than it did. <laughs> so now it's going to be back porch testing this thing and see if it's going to work right or not. And what I mean by back porch testing is if it goes up in smoke outside, it's not going to sink up the house because it's outside. That's why I call it back porch testing. But anyways... I think the biggest scrap I had to say about this thing, other than the original build quality, was the fact that they had some very poor wire management in here. I mean, I had to zip tie so many wires out of the way because they were so long. I mean, they could have done a better job at managing the size, you know, the length of the wires in this thing. But anyways, now it's time to put this thing back together. So, let's see how it goes. Look here everybody, got the power supply installed into the TV box and it works just fine. It's been going for over two days now and I figure what I could do is I'm going to do a restart of the TV box show how fast it starts up with the solid state drive in case you haven't seen that video yet. There it goes. <clears throat> Thing used to take a long time to get going. Yeah, it definitely wasn't too bad of a restart considering this thing has to load a bunch of software when it starts. It auto starts media center and um, has to start the seat and services and all that mess. And it's just, just as snappy as can be. Once you pull up the guide. Instant. Pulls up very fast. Now I'm going to show you how the system, I mean, the, yeah, the system looks with the power supply installed. The only thing you may notice is that this system runs a little bit louder than it did before. That's because these fans are a little bit louder considering they're smaller. I'll do is pull the side panel off the case. And here's a look inside the system, looking through the glass shelf here. And there's the power supply. One thing I like about this new power supply is the, it intakes air from the back and not the um, side. This way it gets more air across the hard drive. And of course we have a system fan there pulling out, which is actually running pretty slow because it's on a smart fan. CPU fan runs off 12 volts. Because it, because I have it configured just for that, and it has a thermistor built into it. So this case definitely has plenty of airflow now. And again, there's another look at the power supply. Let's get you a look at the back. <clears throat> get you a close listen. And 
normally I don't like power supplies to be loud like that, but at the same time, this thing has to have a lot of airflow through it, especially, especially during the winter months when I got the wood stove going. It gets really hot in here and it's hard on a computer, so definitely not bad at all. No more um, crashing, no more locking up, hard drive no longer shuts off. So anyways, this concludes the video of the new power supply installed in the TV box. And I say it's pretty bad when you have to when cheap power supplies are so poor quality that, that you have to pretty much modify them fresh out of the box to make them last. I mean I did that to the Diablo Tech and look how long it lasted. It lasted four years. And I think I can fix that Diablo Tech supply. I just probably need to replace one of the probably gotta replace the capacitor from 12 volt rail. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.